Hey guys, in this problem we're given a bunch of numbers in scientific notation with the 10 to the power of something, and we're asked to convert them all into regular numbers with the right number of zeros. And this might look scary because we've got all these big numbers, but fortunately the process is actually fairly simple. All we got to do is look at the exponent in front of the 10, and then move the decimal space either to the right or to the left based on whether the exponent is positive or negative. So for example, in part A, we got 8.69 times 10 to the power of positive 4. So this means we look at where the decimal point is, and then move it 4 spaces to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we fill in these gaps with zeros. So that means that the answer to part A is 8, 6, 9, 0, 0, or 86,900. And we just continue with this progress or this process throughout the rest of the parts. So 9.1 times 10 to the power of positive 3. So we move this decimal point to the right three spaces. It makes intuitive sense when you think about it, because if it's a positive number, we're making the number bigger. And moving the decimal point to the right makes the number bigger, because we're adding more zeros to the right side. So that's 1, 2, 3. So two zeros there. So that's 9, 1, 0, 0 or 9,100 zero. Now for part C, we now have a negative exponent, which means we're now moving the decimal point to the left, because that's going to make the number smaller. So 8.8, .8, we move the decimal one space to the left, and we don't need to add any zeros, it's just there, that's just 0 0.88, or you can leave off this leading zero if you want, because it's in front of the decimal point. Now for part D, we have 4.76, times 10 to the power of positive 2. So we move the decimal point two spaces to the right. So that becomes 476. Finally, for part E, we have a raised to the power of negative 5. So we take the decimal point and move it five spaces to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to have a lot of zeros in this one. And we put the decimal point right at the beginning. So that's point, and then that's four zeros, so point zero, 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 three, six, two. And that is our answer to that part of the problem. That is our, that is all of our answers to every part of the problem. And so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing and sharing this video and this channel with your friends, because that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. But uh, yeah, if you have a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out. And that's all for now. I hope you all have a lovely day, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye. <laughs>